when we go to place an image in InDesign, we're going to go to File, Place, pick an image, and I'm going to click and drag it. And you'll see that when you click and drag it the first time, that it stays proportional. Once we have pulled it out, uh, if we grab the blue box by the handle and we move the blue box around, you'll see that you crop the image. If we want to resize the image, we can hold our command or control key, click hold for a um, moment, and then we can resize the image. Better yet, and really the way I recommend doing it is to hold the command or control key and the shift key. And when you hold the shift key, then it will size proportionally, which is really what we want as graphic designers most of the time. Okay. Now a beginning designer might look at this and go, well, you know, I get the space here and I really like to make this fit. So I'm just gonna hold the command or control key, grab the handle and kind of stretch the image kind of like that. Well, um, I mean, I understand what you're trying to do here. You're trying to do things kind of the quick and easy way. Um, however, what you end up with is an image that is distorted uh, clearly, this has been stretched out. Uh, it might not be so clear to you, but um, any graphic designer has been working in the business for more than a year can probably see, would see right away that this image has been stretched out and, would, and distorted and it doesn't look great. Um, so if what has happened is you've actually stretched out and distorted an image, and I may have pointed it out in class that this has happened. What you want to do is we want to fix that. We want to go back to proportional. How we do that is we're going to click on this image, bring up the blue box, and then we're going to go to our properties palette. And unfortunately, it's hidden away. But if we go to the transform, and we go to the options for transform, you're gonna see that this selected item, it's 100% in one direction, and it's 136% in another direction. I'm gonna check here, of course, yes, they have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, we want both of these to be 100%. And so I'm going to take the one that isn't 100% and I'm going to set it to 100%. And now our image is not distorted. And the same thing would be happen would happen is if we did that and we kind of crushed our image like that, you'll see that this is 100 and this is 58. And we're going to change the 58 back to 100. And then our image is proportional. And how we would then fix this space here um, is I would select the top of this text box here and drag it up like that and drag this one up like that. And we'd actually want to pull a guide. There are these rulers at the top. I can pull a, an invisible guide down on the baseline of this type here, zoom in. I'm gonna actually grab that and see if I can get it to match exactly to the baseline like that. And then I would take this and match that baseline up. and match that baseline up, come on. And now we have a design that actually works. The image isn't crushed 
and there's not a lot of extra space. And that's how that works.